do a cold opening. I like doing cold openings. You, the thing about a cold opening it has to feel is natural. You, you have to have something funny to say, mm. and unfortunately, Brandon, that is not your forte. Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Lex Play. Be funny in person. Are I'm you just, ready? I'm not funny. Is Are you ready? No. How about now? Maybe. And welcome back to Legs Play. Hard Leg Joe here once again with... CB Radio. I said I'm not ready. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, you're ready now. But, you're here. But it's CB Radio. Sometimes you're not always ready, but that's just how we gotta go. Look at I that just, old man painting. Isn't I feel like cool? a nut. Um... But yeah, that's the the thing about well, welcome back. We're playing the room and chapter three. two. Yeah, the room three, chapter two. All adds up to five, which then you turn into an infinity sign, and that's how you actually get to the game. Yeah, and, and uh, what was it? One of the things I wanted to go over real quick because everything needs the first to be a time puzzle. I came, the first time I played this, I spent forever in this room because I was like fascinated. There's, there's something to do with this clock. There's things on here, mm -hmm. and then like if you look at this this table. It is like, oh, hey, there's a key and the drawer, but it appears to be locked. The door is hmm. locked tight. You can zoom into this thing, oh, but so you this can't is the hub move world? anything. Yeah, this is the hub world. I thought that the uh, the, the like the room with all the doors was our hub world. Uh, this is part of it. But I'm saying, like, all the, the worlds that lead into it, it's all part of one hub world. Okay. It's all kind of continuous. And uh, I had mentioned before, there are four different endings to this game. And you get the endings depending on how much of the hub world puzzle you figure out. And the hints will never help you with those. <laughs> oh, crap. So, you've got to learn. But for now, we're going to... The Beyblade of Infinity. The Beyblade of Infinity. You ever watch Beyblade as a kid? No. Comment in the comments if you watched Beyblade as a kid. I did not. I always thought it was the stupidest shit. It, it really, to me, it seemed like that too. But it also, like, it came out when we weren't kids. Yeah. It came out when we were, like, middle teenagers. teenagers yeah. yeah. So we were Beyblade, in, like, high school when Beyblade We were like, Yu-Gi-Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, no, that's the thing, is, like, even when I was in elementary school, I thought Yu-Gi-Oh was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I thought Beyblade was really dumb. I also thought Yu-Gi-Oh was really dumb, and look at me now. I just remember you playing it in high school, so. I never played Yu-Gi-Oh in high school. Who had the... I know I had decks, but... I didn't get cards until Ron Claude gave me cards, like, years later. Hmm. I was like 22 when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, let's see. What is this again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to fix the door. We must fix the door, and the door must be what it wants to be. A jar? A jar. It's there all about go. your perspective, good sir. Ah. It's all about what you want to see. Can I see the credits? No, not yet. Oh, okay. But I want to see the credits. But yeah, that's, uh... Oh, let me... T okay, there we go. So, yeah, the big thing is solving the, the, the main room puzzle. But yeah. the hardest part about the puzzle is that, uh... Other rooms have keys to other rooms? Partially. But it all starts with this. And the thing is, I remember looking at this and being like, that doesn't appear to be moving. Uh, it is moving. It's moving very slowly. Uh, if you could tell by the dots, it's every 15 minutes it, it becomes active. Like at the, the top of the hour, 15, half an hour, and 45. Right now it's 7.41. So let's just go ahead and change the date and time, shall we? Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, like... I mean, you could wait. You gotta Animal Crossing this crap. But this is what I do, is just... Oh, oh damn it. yeah, you yeah, overshot it, Bunky. Damn it! Let's try that again. <laughs> Computer uh, bursts into flames. Like you messed with, you messed with time. You, you were trying to play God. Order. By the time I actually do this, I'm, it's gonna be. <laughs> it's actually gonna be the time that you want it to be at. Okay. <laughs> Seven forty-four. It's almost there. So we've got we've got like forty seconds to kill. How are you doing today, Brandon? Are I'm you having a nice time. I'm having a great time. I just saw a film, a couple of films, and they were uh, pretty decent. Ah, uh, yes, you saw the Bumblebee. My Bumblebee film was decent. It was a lot better than I anticipated. Is it the best movie about bees that you can think of? No, that would be the Secret Life of Bees. Um, 
and not the B movie. Is it better or worse than B movie? Yeah, no, better than B movie because I don't like the B movie. On the internet, you can hate me all you like. I don't like the B movie. Um. Okay. Wait, what do I? Why did Where's you do this to us, Joe? Is... There we go. Ah. I was wondering, I was like, it looks like it's there. There we go. And then it opens up the thing. <laughs> Four, one, two. Yep. Um, Four, one, two. Ding. My dong. gosh. Get the crystal, and that'll remain in our inventory forever. <laughs> but yeah, it, it all it all starts... I mean, it doesn't start on that. There are other parts you can get. But I was like, while we're here, we might as well get that. Because that was, the, that was like the one thing I had to look up when doing this on the stream. I was like, how do you operate the, uh, the clock puzzle? And I never realized the time was actually moving forward. Well, I mean, yeah, that's actually like... The, anytime that it involves actual time in a video game, no gamer is going to sit and wait. Yeah, especially when it doesn't appear to be... There's no second hand. There's no way of them telling you that it yeah. actually moves. And then it's, again, it's like... Then you start seeing... You get into this room, and it's like, what is this stuff? What is this thing? What is... What is this uh, Magical Maggie? Is this just a reference to the previous one? Um, if you remember Magical Maggie's was that, uh... The, like, 1920s-looking thing? No, hey, I... Small mechanism. I was just really hoping that if I wished on it, I could be an adult. <laughs> I want to be big. And then he's like three stories tall in a Godzilla movie. <laughs> he's like an 80-year-old man. You wanted to be an adult. Kaiju Tom Hanks. <laughs> Read, boy. Anyway. Uh, interest. Here you stand, all corporeal and breathing in the rest. Existing <laughs> is something you appear to have a tremendous knack for. Oh, just like me. A useful trait and one that has been distressingly lacking in my previous apprentices. Breathing. Apparently, apparently his, uh, he's got a low uh, standard for... Me messing with Noel and traveling into the dimensions has a thing of... Uh, has, it has a tendency to uh, wipe people from existence. Yeah. So you got to watch yeah, out Oh, yeah, that. no, I remember. Perhaps my search really is at an end. This library is unique in all the world, though I would counsel against indulging your curiosity, as it is common at Greyholm. There are things here that are not sympathetic towards inquisitive hands. Do not idle here, the craftsman. And that's the first sort of sense. Like, why don't you want me looking around, buddy? I don't know. This guy seems a little mm, spooky. Maybe so he it's is actually me. antagonistic, and I'm. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'd say spoilers, but at the same time, well, one, you're already on the second part of the series, so clearly you don't care all that much. Yeah. And uh, two, when I was playing, I was like, clearly he's evil. <laughs> I don't see him. I wouldn't see him as evil I've, because there's been a lot of people in the in the first two games that were just like, "I'm looking at the null element. Everything's so beautiful. You should see this." And then it's just like, "Oh." But none of them have kidnapped us before. Yeah, no. But then there's that friend who was just like, "Come check out this puzzle box. That's obviously going to take you to this demented, twisted null world." He uh, gifts you the actual thing. Well, he didn't know exactly what he was dealing with. That's, That's my experience. There, oh, we, there go. we go. Okay, I was wondering. Oh, and the rest was already solved. Yeah, accidentally. Just because I messed around with everything. Welcome to puzzle games, folks. And to be fair, he gave his life to get us out of that world. Well, yeah, afterwards, but at the beginning, he's still like a dick friend who's just like, yep. I'm going to give you this thing that I don't fully understand. <laughs> wow. I want one of those. <laughs> That's actually kind of a cool. There's key. so much cool stuff I want in this game. This, the person who made this game was just like, like had Transformers at five, and it was just like, <laughs> these are too easy. I need things more complicated. Yep. And then the Great Khan. Um, Khan. Take the square. Circle takes the square. There's a circle over there. You can't open it again. Or X takes the square. Yeah, this was actually the first thing I found that was like, huh. Why is there a puzzle piece out here? I've already learned how to turn this thing on. Do, 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 do. And then, yeah, it wasn't until after I beat the rest of the game and then finally went back to the clock and then everything makes sense. 
But yeah, I'm I'm solving at least the cursory parts of that now for the people who are who might be interested. So this is basically like uh, me, I, like how I like to play uh, Batman: Arkham City yeah. or Asylum, where I'm just like, I'm gonna get all the puzzle, the Riddler trophies, because I'm not gonna have you guys. I'm not gonna sit through doing all this. I'm gonna do it simultaneously. Oh wait, I need to turn this on. Yeah, I'm actually not going to do all of that, though. Uh, we're going to see all the endings, so I'm going to start with the first one that's the one you get if you just don't solve anything. Okay. I'm just getting some of the stuff early while I remember it, because otherwise we're going to get to the last episode, and I'm going to be like, now to solve don't everything, everything. we'll have to go to every single room, and I'll forget where everything's at. Oh, don't count yourself that short. You're pretty good at remembering them. Flash Gordon. Come in, Flash Gordon. Do you read me? This is Mars. King the Conqueror. There we Actually, go. It's Ming the Merciless. The Great Khan. Yeah, both racist. Khan! All of it racist. Um. It's okay. We don't have any Chinese viewers except for the ones that we actually have. <laughs> Sorry, Chris W. I think he's Chinese. He's from Hong Kong. It's yeah. Like Chinese. Well, I mean, I know a lot of people from Korea, but they're not actually Korean. Ah. They're soldiers. Ah, yes, the clock tower. Ah. Scissorman. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fifth ending. You just yeah. get, like, a guy with scissors just drops just out. Just a guy with scissors just and... drops in. And, yeah, that was, uh, go ahead and take this wheel with a handle. A living thing. <laughs> we haven't seen those in this game before. It's all skulls and spooky stuff. And a box with a key. Well, I mean, the boxes are kind of living. They move, like, organically in a really cool way. Yeah, but speaking of which, do you know anybody other than our Patreons that live outside of the country? Man, this ha- this suddenly felt like, the, the what I just said just suddenly felt like frickin' uh, Sesame Street. Like, hey, Billy, do you know someone who doesn't live where you live? Implying I have friends aside from the Legs players. Huh. You have friends that are, like, from high school no. that I never got to... Not that I talk to anymore. What do you know of time? I know a lot of bunch. He's got a bunch of numbers. I count down. One time I turned seven. That was pretty cool. I, I like to say that it's a, it's a fantastic herb. It does preserve food quite well. I prefer rosemary right now. <laughs> Shut up, Brandon. <laughs> this tower was added by my great-grandfather. I He was great. Through his time, ran out earlier. <laughs> he was he was an okay guy. We just he called him a, great. Yeah, my okay great grandfather. <laughs> Not my okay gra- grandfather. That's just yeah. like your path will appear when the last bell tolls at midnight. A trifle dramatic, I know, but our ancestors understood more than they realized. There truly are moments when our the cycle of our world brings it closer to its neighbors. So, for whom the bell tolls, yep, the tell, so bell tells. Uh, we we had to we had yeah. to light the uh, the torch first, and now we have to. The beacon out, of Ministereth is lit. Then we have to ring the time. Gondel calls for aid. Eh, eh. Spooky. Put the wheel of time on there, or not? Let's not do the wheel of time. Oh, I've hey, read those books. I... It's really, really dry. Oh, is it? Isn't that Neil Gaiman? No, no, no. Wheel of Time is uh, uh, something Jordan, but it was what uh, Brandon Sanderson cut his teeth on because he helped. Uh, Jordan died before the final book was finished, and he actually uh, co-wrote the final one. And ah. his writing style was so liked that he got to that he had other things like open up for him, like his Mistborn series and other such things. Excuse me, but I uh, I attempted to read the first Wheel of Time book or listen to it on audiobook because I'm a scrub. Um Oh, that only opens one of them. Fudge. But yeah, the uh the Wheel of Time is uh it's a bit I don't know. See that's the thing about whenever you, you, you read or you have not read well when you uh whatchamacallit when you listen to things by audiobook, there's always a chance that like maybe the book is good, maybe whoever read it just sucks. Yeah, maybe that person didn't do so well, but like uh, maybe you're having it read by Professor Boring over here. That may have been it. Oh, hey! But there's also 14 books. <laughs> and I, there's like 12 books, but there's still like uh, about eight more books than I care to like pl- 
want to slog through. Is there some way to turn the large gear? Um, is it with this? Because this is what I have. Perhaps uh, there are more areas. Yeah, like try that thing. Let's just spin. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. Hey, metal ring. Mr. Cogsworth. Hey there, Mr. Mr. Cog. What you do and get a slog. There we go. I think that's where you put your new, your old, your uh, your friendly thing you got there. No, I need to take this out. It's just not lining up properly. I think. Perhaps there's something else that you're supposed to put in there that's around the other areas. Perhaps. Perhaps that's a key that you're supposed to form into it. Everything. Usually these little rooms are pretty self-contained. For the most part. Spew, spin. Oh, okay. I got to keep the handle. That means it's important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember these. <laughs> they look really confusing at first, but then it's like, it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's You've got to make that. you got to make it match. So, like, you look, and there's, like, two dots and then a line going across. And you go down until we get two dots and, like, a line going across. And it's like, there's two dots, line, two dots, line, two dots. And, yeah, that kind of lines up with it, even yeah. though this one's going off. Um, and then I charge my credit card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you knuckle duster. There we go. And everything's coming together. But yeah, no, like, Cogs I've been... wheels turning! I've been actually kind of lucky on my audiobooks journey, because uh, most of them that I've read, that I've listened to, have been really well read. Let the pinball begin. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't pinball. I remember these type of things. Oh, no. Okay. Remember there used to be, like, a puzzle thing that I used to have that was just, like, it was a small puzzle on a gyroscope with, like, a small marble? Yeah, there's stuff like that. There it goes. Oh, I raised it. Now I gotta find the other ones. All right. Number two. All right, you have to use the right... Use the bumpers, man. Frickin' magnets, how do they work? i tell you what. Over and down. Yep, I've been reading uh lately that book you gave me, The Name of the Wind. And what did you think? Um, I'm like half... Uh, maybe not halfway through it. I'm like a third of the way through it. Uh, oh. It's all right. It's really well written. But as far as I can tell so far, it's just like your basic fantasy story. Yeah. Like, it has kind of a unique world, but the character is pretty much like, I was born and I was raised in this unique situation where I learned all the things. And then, I guess I shouldn't give away spoilers if anyone wants to know stuff, but it's, so far, everything about it has just been sort of like, what I expect from the fantasy genre, no more and no less. Hmm. It kind of, it, on some of the stuff on it, it kind of, uh, it threw me on some of it. Yes, he is really well, tra like, well trained and such, but, uh, his, have you gotten on his views on, ma on not magic, on music? Uh, a little bit. You, you, once you get, once he starts actually talking about, like, music and such, he's, uh, it's really interesting for that character. So far, like, he's, he is a musician and he has played a lot of music, and they, I, I do like stories where they, find a way to include music into things, but uh, I don't know, I almost get the, I could be wrong, I get the feeling that the author doesn't know a whole lot about music, <laughs> like just the way he writes it, it's sort of like what someone wants music to represent, not what music actually is to people. Ah. Uh. Uh, did he get? I don't know if it's the if it uh, shows up in it's the first a socket, book. Like before. But in the second book, he's definitely into it a lot more, and it's really, really kind of cool. Yeah, I was I was actually kind of surprised. Uh, I looked up like, oh wait, this is okay. I was actually kind of surprised to learn how new that book was. Yeah, it's only ten years old. It is it even that old? Uh, oh, we have it's it younger than that. No, it's uh, it's ten years old because we have it. Now you have to move the the center bar. Oh. Uh, it, we had a ten-year-old copy, or not ten-year, a uh, ten-year anniversary copy up at my store. Ah, oh, okay. 
Yeah, comment in the comments if you've ever read or at least heard of the name of the wind. Mm -hmm. It's one. Of, that's the thing. It's like the name sounds like it's like I've heard it before. Like I thought it was like a classic fantasy book, and then I realized no. It's only about ten years old. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this one's slightly more complicated. And I got you. Oh yeah, I did the other one. The that one's definitely more of a, a traditional fantasy story. It's uh, uh I gave him the. Uh, Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher. His, uh, his. Which I've definitely never heard of, which is why I didn't read. I tend to. It's weird, snobby as I can be sometimes. I like to read stuff that I've heard of. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, The Furies of Calderon, I didn't know it was done, but you know who Jim Butcher is. Uh, not by name. Uh, he's done The Dresden Files. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's. I've heard of that. Yeah, he's but done. But I haven't read The Dresden Files. Dresden Files are like 15 to 20 books long. Like there's a lot of them. I don't. I tried reading the first one whilst I was also reading that Name of the Wind book, and uh, Jim Butcher is a uh, a good storyteller. Uh, not the best uh, like uh, not vocabulary. What's a uh, a good way of saying it? He's not the best at like um uh crap. What's a I I don't know what you're trying to say. Like his his wordplay isn't the best. Is it's not very technically well written. Because mm -hmm. that that's what I could say about the name of the wind. He knows how to use like really flowery speech. I love that about it, and he, it's yeah. He he can make stuff sound really dramatic, but that mm -hmm. doesn't. That's not why I read books. I'm much more interested in like the plot. Uh, does this go on here? Well, for me, the plot and and them both go like are in hand are very very interesting. Oh, that goes there. But okay. that's the reason why. Oh, hey. Frame rate drop. Tornado flame rate drop. To, to be fair, I do have it set so that, like, the graphics are on, like, it's super maximum. And we are trying to stream at the same time. Usually this game has zero slowdown. Stream? They're not stream, but we're recording. Okay, I was just like, we're streaming? We're live? No. No. We've been live this whole time. Say hi, everybody. Oh, hey, stairs. Uh, but no, yeah, the... Going up the stairs and going downstairs. And going up the stairs and Butcher going does have, like great plot and all that stuff but he doesn't technically he doesn't write technically well uh but that's what like take me off about the his first book which was the first one in the dresden files like i i use this example he used the term cheerleader to describe three separate things in one pair like one chapter oh. and there was no cheerleader involved and it really like irked me after reading name of the wind where it's just like he uses like he has like a, a thesaurus yeah. crammed in the damn thing as to zip. The chiming of the bells. Yes. Now we get to go inside a pain thing, except not really. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things like I don't really know what we're doing, but this kind of this kind of feels like if you ever played a uh, what you call it, that really famous game that now Fez. Uh, there's it's not just Fez. It's, there's also uh, there's another one out there now called uh, uh, the the path the uh, the mind path. Oh no, the uh. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Well, that's more about connecting lines and stuff. Well, yeah, but the, it, it even does it with like, uh, like the environment, or, like outside of the puzzles. Like you could, you get to another portion, and you're literally looking over a ledge, and that ledge uh, shows you an area, and you're supposed to connect the lines uh, of the pattern of the maze that's in that area. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the name of that game is because I almost got it, but I felt like it would just be like another room, not a waste. No. Well, it's like hundreds of hours long or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's just so many puzzles. It's the something, and I can't... Uh, if you, uh, We're blanking on it. Uh, comment in the comments if you remember, if you know what we're oh, talking hey, about. this is where that goes. Unless eh. we figure it out by the time we're done with this play. I won't remember because I never played it. Yeah. I just watched someone play through it, and I was like, I want to play that. And then I saw a review, and they're like, yeah, I was like, this looks really neat. And then I played it. And then it just keeps going and going, and there's. I also heard that like it seems like there's a story. But you're there's on this not. mysterious island, but you're not actually there. It's like mist, but not mysterious. Uh. I also like this. You use the the uh, the horse, the knight, to take every possible uh, situation, which I guess you could do through trial and error. But if you actually know chess, then it's like, haha. Uh, neat. Yeah. Take it. The knight was the only one I ever really memorized where it went. Because I always thought that it was just like, 
It's the weirdest moving piece in the entire game. Yeah, it hops over all the things. It does an L pattern, which is everyone else is just like, yeah, straight lines. Like, theirs is just like, hey, let's do this really awkward one. That'll change the game up. Yeah. Did you know after, um... Uh, oh, yeah. Haha. Did you know after Deep Blue, the chess-playing computer, beat uh, the Russian guy? I forget his name. Pavanov? Mm-hmm. No, that's not it. Fuck. I can't remember his name. It didn't beat... Uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the, the American one, did it? Yeah, he did. Deep Blue won... Deep Blue proved that chess... Or computers could play chess better than humans can. And I mean, now that computers are way better, it's like, yeah, you pretty much can't... Can't be a human player that's better than, than a chess... Than a computer... Or it's very, very difficult to, which is sad because it's one of those things, chess is one of those games that's so complicated you could spend, like, your whole life studying it. And they do. Yeah. But after after it was completed, someone made, like, a new version of chess, specifically that a computer wouldn't be able to win it. Um, oh, yeah. This looks familiar. <laughs> but what but is the, the whole thing about it is that... Uh, Instead of starting with the same pieces, there are like 20 pieces, mm -hmm. and you get to choose which ones you have on your field, and they all move in different ways. It's you. It's it's capsule game. Yeah, it's kind of it was like, oh, jeez. When I first saw this, I was like spinning, and I was like, oh, no, great. No. And then I noticed there are at least crosses, so each one only has like four different combinations, so it's actually not as hard as it seems. You just figure dot, dash, dash, dot, dot. It's yeah, once the same. You, there we go. Because the brain does this, once you find the patterns, it really pretty much becomes easy. Yeah, because it's four, if it was if it was a little bit more complex, this could be really, really difficult, but fortunately it's not. Um no, that's not it. Man, my mouse is like freaking out. I wonder if that's maybe if I have it on No, I don't want to do that. Oh, do you have it on like gaming settings? Uh no, I have it on the regular settings, but my regular my regular uh settings are a little high. Mm. Okay, I think that's it. Uh that's uh that's uh Joe uh Hard Lake Joe saying he's better than you. Yep. My mouse has so much DPI, you don't even know. <laughs> it has three different settings I could set it to different DPI, which actually is really useful. It has like a bunch of buttons on the side and I've I've mapped I have like one build where I map it for when I'm editing. Ooh, pardon me. So, like, one button is, like, the hot key, like, control B for cut, mm -hmm. and then another one is, like, control V, so I can do editing without having to, like, keep my hands on the keyboard. I can just do it by hitting buttons on my mouse. Behind the scenes with Hard Like Joe. Yeah. It's one of those things, I asked for a gaming mouse for, for Christmas, like, a year ago, because I was really into uh, Overwatch at the time. And, and then you're my not parents using... gave it to me, and I use it mostly for editing. Which, I mean, that's that's more practical. Oh, I'm... yeah. It worked out really well. Oh, hey. A key of sorts. Yeah. Who would have guessed that there'd be a key in this game? It's all keys all the time. Mm-hmm. Um... The Black Eyed Keys. I don't think that's the right band, is no, it? It's no, it's the I, Black Eyed I... Peas. Which is like the Black Eyed Keys. I mean, it rhymes sort of the same I need to that that then that then that get one of these in here oh you know that's going in there oh yeah bada uh -huh. bingo bada bango hell yeah it's awesome baby it's just like it's Dick, love American style this is just like Dick Vital's awesome baby college hoops all over again <laughs> thanks Scott the Waz at the, I guess I'll have to show you that at some point. Yeah, thank you um, for making. Uh, and you, you, you mess with me about uh, making references to other YouTubers. But it's okay because that YouTuber is like, uh, oh fuck, what was I? There we go. This took me a while to figure out too. I kind of figured. It's basically you can see the sort of like bronze. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I kind of oh. figured it would be difficult simply because it's just a whole bunch of wheels within wheels. It's I'm like an angel. missing something. Well, what what it is is uh, if you miss what actually happened, so it's like constantly moving, and mm -hmm. it follows through whatever black line is like in the the loop, mm -hmm. and then you've got these bronze ones, and when you press the button, they go down for a second. So you've got to time it so when it's about to go through it, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that one's down, and you can get it to go there. 
Um, I'm missing something from You were saying about uh, Waz? Um, oh, just he made a... His 100th video was about... Um, Dick Vital's awesome baby college hoops. Which was just... <laughs> and just, like... It had this whole thing where he was, like, theorizing on what it would be like if, uh... Instead of Madden getting chosen as, like, the representative for stuff like that, it was... Dick Vital. Dick Vital. Is that actually something new, or is that... No, that's an old, like, it's a, uh... Fuck. Oh, there it is. Huh. A partner for him. Yep. And then that goes back in. So it was essentially for all of these, like, people that could have been important for, like, basketball. Yeah. They went with Dick Vital. Dick Vital. He was a, uh... He was an announcer. So just like John Madden was. But he was known for, like, being really bombastic... Be like, that's awesome, baby! It's a slam jam right in the hoop! Like, oh, And they've got this, like, old digitized version of him. Just like, awesome, baby! <laughs> <laughs> and there's just something... It's one of those things, like, you keep... You, he, he keeps saying it over and over again. Hmm. And, and boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes the dynamite. That's an old reference. Yep. And it's eventually... You just kind of get into that... Uh, oh, I've got it the wrong way. Okay. What I need to do is pass that one and then there. So it gets on the big hoop. Go up, go back to formula. And then it goes all the way around. I need to get it on that little hoop over there. But it's just, it's one of those game names. I, I don't know what the term for it is. When, like, something gets funny because it's got a long name and just every time they refer to it. They're, like, in the middle of a conversation. They're like... You're telling me there's better games out there than Dick, Dick Vitale's Vitale, awesome, awesome Baby Awesome or, <laughs> Awesome Baby <laughs> College Hoops? Like, I don't believe it. Eh. Uh, a gem. A gem. Truly, truly out outrageous. Yep. I guess that was all. No, I actually, there's a, there's a, no, go back. Other one. There's a, okay, I thought that. That was where the gem was at. Yeah, I thought that was like a, a turning key. Nope, you're just dumb. That, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Any any opportunity to insult you? That's pretty much everyone in my life. Uh, red. Oh, hey. Ah. Fancy. Emerald. That means it's an enemy diamond now. Um. <laughs> All the other ones look like rather finesse. That one just looked like it was oh, a there's stuff down a here. kindergartner scribbled on it. Um, some kind of bird key. So I guess I need to make that. Uh. Oh, it's like an arrow. Okay, I got it. Blop, 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 bloop, blip, bloop, blip, blop, doobity, doobity, doop. Enter. See, that's where they they made sure that you couldn't just do it randomly because you have to press enter when you're done. Ah. I mean, I guess you could just sort of like, you know, eventually figure it out. Well, I mean, the arrow shape, I would say you could possibly just be like, yeah. Neat. But it's one of those things like you'd have to press one, press it. Doesn't work. Press two, press it. They give you all these extra things. Um, can I do something with this beforehand? Or yeah, my guess is I need the other it's one. It's like the tomb of the golden monkey all over again. And this one, silver the monkey, shrine sir. of the silver monkey. Um, okay, and then that one goes. It's like the kingdom of the crystal the skull down. all over again. There we go. Oh, press the button. So you couldn't just randomly do it. Yeah. And that turns on the light. Ah. Uh, and then we back out a little bit so we could take a look and be like, What's all this then? Going all about with his head full of eyeballs. Oh, whoops. You took away her torso. Her? How do you know it's a she? My get a frickin' uh, bird. bird. Oh, yeah. I was thinking it was, like, one of the dancers again. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Nope, it's a Resident Evil 4 puzzle. Nah. Uh, 4, uh, 7. Well, I think it's the bird, bird, bird. Bird, 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 bird. Bird the word, yeah. Don't you know about the bird? Everybody knows that the bird is the word. Um... Uh, you already did there. that one. Oh, did I already turn it? I thought there was something. 
Key? No. You turn around. There's that. That thing's green. Yeah, but I can't. I can't get into it yet. Oh I yeah. Gotta move this out of the way. What's the somehow. red thing up there? That's what'll break as soon as the bell starts chiming. I gotta make. Have you bell. checked the table? What table? There is no table. It's sitting on a table. The table itself. I can't click on it. Okay. This game is tricksy like that. Trixie's Hobbits. <laughs> Trixie's Hobbits. Yeah, did I already wind it? Why do I still have the winding key then? Wind it again. Don't you try to give me a hint. Um, what's over here? Anything? No, that's just extra. It's a good thing you can't free roam around this. Otherwise, <laughs> things get very confusing very fast. Um, okay. I got the bird key though. So let's go talk to the bird. Maybe it'll have some hints about what to do next and what to do with oh, the okay. life. Oh, okay, see. So talking to the bird is a thing? Uh, kind of. I get the bird key. Quote the raven, open this. <laughs> Quit, quote the raven, open the door. Pull the lever! Pull the lever, Kronk. And then the bird oh dies. Because you smashed it into something. Bird, bird, pterodactyl, pterodactyl. I am the falconer. To me. T to me. <laughs> All right. I think that was just a side quest. They just wanted you to free, to free the raven. You know, have a nice time. Free the raven, bruh. Free, free the love. Raven, free the raven. Home. Where you at, bird? Oh, hello. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's all just to frickin... And then uh, the, the chiming of the bell breaks that, and that was holding back the gears from turning. So it opens up the painting. That's the most convoluted... How did you know the crow was gonna go there? Yeah, it's like the other ones are just... The other ones are, like, magical, but that's just kind of like, was this bird part of the structure? <laughs> no, I just... All of them are mechanical, and they're like... Super complex and all and such. Some and weird room Goldberg, like, yes, and then I'll train a bird <laughs> to fly up and sit on the bell tower after it's been let out of its cage. It's like, man, he must have spent a long time and a lot of bird feed doing that. Like, I've discovered a new element, and I trained a raven <laughs> for quote, four months. You quote, have no quote, idea. Quote the raven. Ca -caw! Quote the raven. I'm a football player. I don't know. Quote the Raven. Awesome, baby! <laughs> College hoops! Quote the Raven. Uh, uh, quote the Raven. Azarath Matrion Zinthos. Azarath Matrion Zinthos. Have you tried Zinthos? Have you tried? Zinthos might work. The Fresh Maker. Yeah, I was gonna be Zinthos. The Fresh Maker. Dooby doo dooby doo 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 ah. Nothing's better than love when it's fresh and it's dead. And it's <laughs> in your head. When it's fresh and it's dead. Like a big thing of poo. It's mental fresh and something, something. Mental freshness. Mental freshness. Mental freshness. Mental freshness. freshness. Sell I. <laughs> like we, we were in unison and then it broke down horribly. A hundred people watch this. <laughs> Why, I'll never know. Comment in the comments, why do you watch? Your stupidity makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> oh, that's why we still got the winding key. It's been a long and <laughs> winding road, am I right? I think that was in the wrong key. It's been a long and winding road. Oh, it's midnight. Yep, time to turn into a pumpkin again. Oh, I'm going to let it all hang down. Really? Yeah. That's after midnight. Ask, right now is midnight, though. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. The bell tolls. It tolls for thee. For thee. I wonder what happened to the bird after this. It when, tolled for him. His we, name was thee. And then that one breaks that one. The other ones that didn't break. I don't understand how this oh, works. Oh, crap. Yep. And now we've got the Beyblade. We're gonna let it rip. Doing all the stuff and going to the next trip. Bested the ruthless mechanisms of the clock tower with humanity intact. The tolling bell marks progress, but not without hardship. 
Is that next time on Let's Play? Uh, well, we've got a couple minutes left, so I'm going to go put the Beyblade there and give people a preview of what the next room looks like. Because it's all it's the rooms. Oh, hey, and our inventory came back. Ah, nice. Yeah, that that was the uh, that was how I knew that I had discovered something secretive because it's like I found this box. How I knew I had something special. And, and then I went into that room and it was like the box is gone. Oh no! And then I came back here and it's like I got the box back. Neat. All right, let it rip. It's just like when Moses split the tides. I n no. Did you know that was actually? Oh cannon? yeah, I forgot <laughs> the cannon of that is that the Moses used a Beyblade to part the Red Sea. Oh god, that's so stupid. Yep, and that's why Beyblade is worse than Yu-Gi-Oh. Way worse. Uh, Bakugan though recently got a TCG. Did you hear about that? Well, I knew that they had. I didn't know they had a trading card game. I knew An they had a trading ro like whatever the hell you call a Bakugan. <laughs> you got to call rocks. I don't. Know, a trading... trading rock game. You give rocks and then you trade them. Oh, hey. It's a puzzle. Who would have thought in this game? In this game? <laughs> you rogues. You rapscallion. Um... Yeah, that's it right there. Or not. Eh, okay. There we go. There we'll go, old yeah, chum. Yep, 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 indeed. There we go, and then... Well. <laughs> well, fuck my donkey. <laughs> Why do you... No! Stop doing that to animals! It's not real, as far as anyone knows. It's fine. Look. We've got a thing... The other two knobs didn't have a purpose. Open. Nope. They were just... They were red herring knobs. They were shaped like fish for a reason. They weren't shaped like fish. I mean, kind of. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I'm not going to give any more spoilers for the rest of the, uh, the magic, or for the, the rest of the, like, outside Tell of the, the puzzle. But, well, Joe... Let's go ahead and read this before we, we are, exit. Are, are there more puzzles? Another test passed with all colors flying. Is this, can people really say that? No, uh, no, no. no, okay. no. And now the time truly is at hand. I promised you answers, and answers you shall have. Every soul is unique. We are all special snowflakes. And so no, must be no, every trip. No, 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 did it actually say special? No. Okay. Every soul is unique, and so must be every trap that snares it. An altar of belief, a tome of answers, a crypt of terrors. For A.S., his box full of demons... Knowledge, power, sight beyond sight, all lies. All just bait for the trap. So everything you knew the... from the first game was a lie. So yeah, I know, I know what my uh, soul trap is full of. This house was to be yours had you failed, but you walked free of it as you have the rest. I am certain now that you are the one I have sought. The one who will find the center of the labyrinth. The one who will walk free of this very realm. Mine's full of Cheetos <laughs> and toasted ravioli. Oh, I was full of attractive anime girls. Also, <laughs> look at these bricks. Fuck you. <laughs> We're no, we don't gonna, believe in infrastructure I'm gonna, here. I'm not going to explore what that is. Just know that they're bricks. So fuck your bricks. Took me forever to find those bricks. On the other side is a tree. <laughs> now you know. Oh, hey. Time to make an important call, maybe. Hard to say. Hard, hard to delay. Leg. Next, Next time, time on Let's Play. Play. That was Ooh, almost a good. That was almost a good outro. Yep. Yeah. I think we'll probably we'll, we'll take a break from the series. We could probably finish it like next time though, maybe yeah. a third time. It's cool. You got two episodes for now. Let us know what you thought about it. If you'd like to finish it, I'm probably gonna finish it regardless. But you know, never hurts. Yeah, I mean, like I enjoyed it. Yeah. Next time we'll probably have something else. Maybe some uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse again. Finally, don't look into that. That's a laser pointer. You will be very eye damaged. Well, I'm not pushing the button. Oh, God! Ah! You're very bad at acting. Oh, God! This is how I act when I'm actually hurt. Oh, no! <laughs> what will I do? My eyes are blinded. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look so actually sad. And I know it's not pretending to be bad at <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> you. <laughs> Comments in the comments if you comment in the comments. Comments in the comments if you comment in the comments. If you like these 
God.